Hey guys, Myers Bridge is what we're gonna talk about today. It's something that I'm super excited about because I use it like every day, almost every day. And it's just a tool that really help you understand yourself and other people and why your brain is working the way it works. So I completely love this. I just uh, I want to find out more about it. I want to see what people's out there and what they are. I want to see what you are. I know what I am. And this is a this theory is based on Carl Jung's studies, like back in the I think they did the test in 1900s. So it's like it's old. And this psychologist is from Carl Jung. And uh, look him up if you want, he's a really interesting man. So I'm not gonna explain everything in this video. I'm just gonna make a short presentation about it. And then later on, we're gonna go deeper into it. So because it takes too long time for just to discuss the whole thing. But the Myers-Briggs system works like this. It's 16 types of personalities in the world. Like everyone out here has their own four letters. And these four letters decides how your brain works, kind of easily explained. The first one is if you're extroverted or introverted. Extroverted people, shortly just explained, is people who get their energy from having other people around you, kind of. They want, they are, they're doing, they're on the external side. That's where they get their energy from. Introverted people get their energy when they're alone often. It's where they charge their own energy when they're like not around a lot of people. But it, introverted people can also be very talky and outgoing, but they need to go home and have a rest. And if I, as an extroverted man, need to be around people because if I'm alone by myself in the camera for too long like I need to have people around me and this has just been a fucking struggle because as soon as I understood where I get my energy from and where my energy gets drained it's like wow it opened up a lot of things because energy is like you need energy right all day. So the first letter in the Myers-Briggs system is introvert or extrovert. The next one is how you perceive information in your brain, shortly said. It's either sensing or in intuition. Sensing is based on what they can see, what they can hear, what they can smell, what they can touch and what they can taste. So these five senses is what they're basing their information on. And the intuition people, it's like me, is going on on the inside. And we have the intuition people, just like me, have like ideas, visions and stuff. We can see big pictures, possibilities in the future where we're supposed to go. And like you have this big picture of stuff and like dream really big. And we're not, we're not, we're not basing this on uh, our senses. So we go with our intu intuition, what it tells us to, what our heart is guiding us and where we want to, we dream like really big. For example, my, my, my brain just keeps, if I cannot dream really big and have a big vision for the future, like I, I'm out, I'm bored and I was like, no, I don't want to do this. I want to really have something larger to look ahead. If not, I'm out. So the next one is how you make decisions in life and there's the thinker and it's a feeling the thinker like me we analytically think over of what can happen and and really what like we think all the time it's just in our head that's the negative thing like you're always in your head and if you're in your head you're dead so you need to get out of the head and into your heart but the feelers they take decision on what feels right at the moment, if it doesn't really feel it feels right, they're like, no, I'm not gonna do it, and then they're gonna not gonna do it, or they're gonna do it if they're like, holy fuck, yes, let's do this, and then they do it. But I'm in my head 
and you thinkers out there, you know that you're in your head and you're like, oh, am I gonna do this or not? And then you have to logically like try to have some fact that you're basing this on if you're gonna take this decision or not. And it's like, no, well, it's a hard thing. And like, but if you go from here to the heart, it gets easier. So that's how you, what's the difference between the feelers and the thinkers. And the last one is the judging or perceiving. So the last one is judging or perceiving. It's like how you are, how spontaneous you are. The judges, they really want to have structure and deadlines and timelines and all this stuff. And then you, they, they can push through with that. Like, tell me I'm going to do this next week. And then like, boom, they're on it. Kind of. And me as a P, as a perceiver, I just do stuff like spontaneously. I just like, oh, let's do it now. Let's do go there. Let's do that. And like this really shows up in my life anyway when you're like a P, the perceiver, because... I just do spontaneous things and I fucking love it. And deadlines, well, it's good with deadlines, but I mm, kind of don't really want to follow them. It's, it, I need to do it sometimes, but it's kind of, it's harder for me. It's, I like it better when I just can spontaneously do something and just execute it right now and like straight away. So if you are recognizing yourself as a deadline person, a structured person, you're probably a G as a judging. Or if you're just spontaneous and you just do, want to do stuff like randomly, you're a P, like me, kind of. So, and you get these four letters and you make a test, it's online, I can link it in below. And you will answer as you are, not as you want to be. Answer it and then just go through the questions and then you will see what you are. And then you can read the description afterwards. And if you read it and you're like, holy fuck, this is, how did he know this? That is right. But if there's something inside there that says, ah, oh, no, this is not really me. There's like, no, this is not me. You have answered incorrectly. So do it again. Just do it again. This is so fun to play with because everyone out there, they are like, they're one of these 16 personalities. And you will notice when you meet someone that's the, has the same four letters as you, you will actually think the same way as they're thinking. Like, I'm 31, and I, I'm like, this year was the first year that I knew that I met someone that was just like me. And when we knew that, I was like, holy fuck, we clicked like this. And we were like, it was crazy. So it's really funny if you get to know what you are, and then you meet someone else, and you click really well. Probably that person is somewhere close to your four letters or like something really close to it. Like not maybe the same as you, but close to it. So play around with it and I will go deeper into this because we can talk for hours with this. But I will go deeper on every 16 of these personality types in the future. But I just want to put something up right now that has to do with Myers Bridge. And I will link uh, where you can do the test. And just have fun with it, play with it, see what you are, learn something about yourself, learn something about your, I don't know, partner or friends or whatever, and kids, and everyone has one. It's really cool. All right, thanks you for this time. Next time, I don't know what comes up. We'll see. See ya.